when you think of Florida, these images likely pop in your mind, right? Our beautiful beaches and also the happiest place on earth. But today we wanted to focus on the Florida Wildlife Corridor. It's nearly 18 million acres and more than half of it is protected, but millions of these acres do not have conservation status. The corridor is made up of national parks, state forests, waterways and working lands like Buck Island Ranch in Highlands County. I traveled to the ranch with our photojournalist Allison Shaw to show you the work being done to preserve and protect our environment. We hop on a swamp buggy to explore the working cattle ranch. Our guide, just a cowboy. Gene Lawless. Favorite thing, the open space. Don't hear no cars, don't hear no horns, no sirens, just peaceful. We pass hundreds of cows, wetlands, and field experiments. Dr. Hillary Swain is the executive director of Archbold Biological Station. Scientists there partner with cowboys at Buck Island Ranch to study agriculture, sustainability, and conservation. As we're driving, she explains one project at the ranch is all about slowing the rate at which water leaves the property. Culverts that we put in have something called a riser on them. So the ditch has to fill up and fill up and fill up to this level. And then it pulls down the hole and goes into the pipe. So you're holding a lot of water back. It's called a riser culvert. We drive a bit further to see it in action. See what you got, what Hillary was talking about, the riser structure. If you kind of watch your step there, because it's kind of washed, if you look down there, there's about two foot difference in elevation in the water. The purpose of this was to look at, well, what are the impacts to our operation, but what are the downstream impacts that we can do on these large landscapes by holding up water? Gene explains the primary focus. Mostly concerned about phosphorus in this area. Why is that? You know, phosphorus is a nutrient that causes algae blooms. So with the algae, whether it be red or green, that phosphorus getting in the water column, getting to the coastlines and producing that, those algae. There are now more than 100 of these culverts across the property, and now nearly 20 other ranchers are doing similar work. Well, over, over a 15-year period, a lot more people getting on board because we all see the impacts that we're having with water demand. About a 20-minute drive away is Archbold Biological Station. We traveled there on a different day to learn about their research. It's right in the middle of the Florida Wildlife Corridor. Archbold's been here in, in Florida since 1941, and we're driving through some of the most precious places in North America right here in Florida. The Florida Wildlife Corridor is a mixture of natural habitats, like where we are at Archbold. It includes working lands, um, forests and ranches and farms. It includes all the areas across Florida that contribute to protecting wildlife, helping to uh, conserve our watersheds. Um, in the long term, these are uh, really important for resilience. There's a gopher tortoise crossing the road there. Hillary explains why a vast connected network of land is so crucial for conservation through the life of a gopher tortoise. A little connectivity goes a long way for some species. For a gopher tortoise, cut off by three big roads, you are just going to end up with sort of a, a population of, you know, that is going to live there for a few decades, but just die out because they don't, they're not breeding, they don't have any genetic diversity. In 2021, the Florida Wildlife Corridor Act passed with bipartisan unanimous support. It secured hundreds of millions of dollars in funding to protect interconnected natural areas in the state. And since then, thousands of acres of land have been added to the protected list, also helping the animals that call the Florida Wildlife Corridor to her home, like the Florida scrub jay. Lots of species like scrub jays or gopher tortoises need connectivity from one patch to the next. And you will see our neighbor with some scrublands, and you will see other neighbors to the north and to the west with scrublands, some of which are connected to us and others of which are not yet connected. And that's the long game of filling in the jigsaw of the Florida Wildlife Corridor. 
and we really just touched the surface of the work those scientists and ranchers do. So I put links to the biological station and the ranch on our website, abcactionnews.com, so you can learn more about their field work. Coming up tomorrow on ABC Action News, we're going further in depth on the work being done to study the animals in the corridor. I'll show you how these images right here are captured without disturbing the animals so researchers can study them in their natural habitat. Really incredible video and pictures captured.